Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we are going to take a look at, I do believe it's pronounced Imanzni, four wheel, two layer robot smart car chassis kit with speed encoders for Arduino. Now this can be found on Amazon for currently at $17.99. If you're interested in this, uh, look in the description below. You'll find an affiliate link that will bring you right to this. I originally was just going to order the robot wheels because I have 3D printers. I was going to make my own base. But um, this includes all the mounting hardware and everything, and it was only a matter of just a couple dollars more than just buying the wheels. So I just went ahead and bought the kit. It'll save me the time of printing it, and this will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And as you can see, it is sealed. It has not been opened yet. We're going to open this up, take a look at what all is included inside, the build quality, and then we'll take a look at assembling it really quick. Um, after that, if you are looking for the use of it with Arduino, I will be doing further videos on that, so make sure to subscribe to see those. But for this video, we're just going to take a look at the, the kit itself. So, all right, let's get this opened up. It does come in a nice box, and everything does appear to be packaged fairly decently. There's a little bubble wrap in there. Um, I don't really see the necessity of over overpacking it because most of this would be pretty hard to damage anyway. So we got our four geared robot motors there, and our assembly hardware. We got the four matching wheels. You can put those to the side here. And then wrapped in the bubble wrap is the chassis assembly. And it's in a sealed bag. If you know, well, almost sealed. The one corner was tore. But uh, everything looks good. That, uh, I don't see anything else in the box except for a business card saying thank you and has their email and stuff on it. All right, let's get the box out of the way. So, there. Okay, I thought maybe there'd be a perfect protective film. I don't think there is. Doesn't feel like there. It almost looks like maybe there is, but I know it doesn't look like there's a protective film on there. Kind of thought it would have that. Uh, I wouldn't try stressing it too bad. With the two together, yeah, it'll give you some rigidity, but uh, all right. As long as you ain't trying to step and stand on the thing, I think we'll be okay. So, the chassis's not too bad of quality. Like I said, it was only a matter of just a couple dollars more to get everything, and that also included the mounting hardware, which just the wheels and the motors did not come with. Let's open up the bag here and see. All right, here's the encoders. There's the little connector brackets for lining the two pieces of the chassis up. There's our mounting hardware. Well, they actually do give an instruction sheet. And <laughs> when I say instruction sheet, it's just one piece of paper, but it does appear to cover everything. So I would say the instructions actually are not that bad. There's not a whole lot to this to assemble. So, all right. Instructions are not bad. All right, the motors. And tabs that you got to solder the wires to are kind of bent up. This one's fine. This one's fine. These two are bent up. We don't need that. 
All right. Well, so far, the build quality is not bad. Get one of the wheels to press in there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, the first thing you would do before you want to assemble this is you would want to solder some wires on. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to take the instructions here. And I'm going to put this together. I will leave the, the camera filming, but I'll just speed it up like 10, 20 times speed so you're not sitting watching the whole assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together. Right. I have it assembled. I did skip putting these encoders on because I'm actually not going to be using those with the particular setup I'm going to be doing. But uh, as for the assembly, it was maybe six minutes, five, six minutes to put it together. Um, it actually is fairly durable you're not going to want to put a ton of weight on there it's not made for that but uh this this is going to be very interesting to see once i get um the arduino mounted in there and the uh the radio everything i'm going to be used for controlling it but uh on a scale of nine to ten um i'm going to give this a nine um i almost never give tens but I'm going to give this a 9. I mean, the build quality is not bad. It came with a tiny bit of extra hardware. They gave you two extra nuts and one extra screw in case you lost them. The wheels are a little hard to push on, but maybe that's a good thing because I noticed there is no way to affix them other than putting some glue on when you put them together. But then they would be permanent. Um, to get uh, this apart, to put the Arduino stuff in, I don't have to take absolutely everything apart. I just take these top six screws out and the top cover will lift off. And I'm going to be using a Nano and, and my battery pack. Everything should fit down in here. And my antenna can be stuck through there. So I would recommend this. It's a matter of like three, four dollars more than just buying the robot wheels, the geared wheels. 
Uh, instructions are simple, but I, I hardly glanced at them. I just looked to see where they recommended positioning these and then quickly at the beginning how the motor is connected. Pretty straightforward and simple. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, once again, there's an affiliate link in the description below for the, this on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it other places as well. But, uh, all right, well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here today at the Z Hut. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hope you have a great day and, well, have fun building your Arduino robot.